Let's do it, shall we? <laughs> I'm sorry, Eight that's fucking fine. Ago, Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts, was kidnapped. Yesterday, with my help, the Psychonauts rescued Truman from the underwater lair of Dr. Lobato. But trust me, there's no way Lobato is working alone. Today, we're on a mission. Find out who hired Dr. Lobato to kidnap Truman Zanotto. My name is Raz. Turn up. And today is my first official day on the job. This reminds me of Stardew. <laughs> at Psychonauts headquarters all my life. I just thought it would be more, you know? Come on, we're going to be late for the morale corral. <laughs> very Georgia Court, very. And that's how we managed to raise profits uh, to 900% this quarter. That's right. Thank you. And that brings us to our next topic. Uh, Sasha, still have the talking turtle? Maury. Sorry, I just like the clapping. It's now time to give out the award for Employee of the Year. The prize for this year's award is an all-expenses-paid tropical vacation. Oh, I hope it's me. The winner of this award may be one of our newest members, but he's also one of our most improved. Congratulations to... Caligosto Loboto! What? <laughs> Way to go, Cal. You're gonna love this vacation package. I'm jealous. I'll tell you guys when, don't worry. I... I've never won anything. Oh, been on a vacation. I don't have to go on a boat, do I? No, darling. Woo! All you need to do is get this vacation request approved by your supervisor. What? Just a formality. You just need to get this form signed by your boss. My boss? Yes, darling. Or you could just tell us who your boss is and we could... No! Maybe he doesn't want this tropical vacation after all. Get back! I won it! I'm employee of the year! Yes, you are, darling. Now off you go. Get that form signed by your boss. The person who hired you. The person you work for! Okay... <laughs> Hurry up! Before I take that vacation myself! Rasputin? I'm on him. Keep up with him, Raz, and he'll lead you straight to his boss. So, Lobato, that guy, he was the bad guy from the first game, and he seems to be in here. We'll try to hit him off. Be careful, darling. And we're trying to figure out who he was working for. Stay close to him, Raz. But don't freak him out. Not gonna freak him out. I got this. Never to act casual. Acting We're casual. Acting casual. Oh what my that? goodness. I said, I love casual Friday. Am I right? Very casual mm -hmm. suit. Attention. The tube is loose. Don't lose him, Raz. I'm not losing him. I got him. Oh God, he ran. Excuse uh -oh. me. I think he suspects something. He's taking countermeasures. Just remember your basic writing, soldier. Right. Are you following me? No. Why would I ever do that? <laughs> you are following me. This was all a trick. I'm not employee of the year. I'm the 
greatest dentist of our century! All agents, the tooth has gone bad. Repeat, the tooth has gone bad. Fair warning again, this is where the dental stuff comes in. in position to intercept. Roger. Finding ways to break boxes. Oh, you trust me. Everything interesting. Oh, Sasha. Sorry, I love some of these characters. You'll see me start fangirling. Looking for me? Well, come and get me. Why are you taking so long? Dude, listen. <laughs> I have very short legs. I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! Hey, you're not supposed to walk that way. <laughs> you're not supposed to walk that way. Alright. <laughs> is this random? Coach! No time for small talk, soldier! The enemy is on the move! Watch oh god. Corner. This way. Quick. I thought that the uh the Hurry! We can't let him shake us. Interesting was yeah. Before the procedure, it's very important that we clean out your dentist's sight. You don't want any dirty. Go away! Hey, Butch, how are you doing? Oh, God. I didn't realize I was supposed to keep dodging. Soldier, I can't lift that tooth. There's a door up there. We just okay. finally fixed it. <laughs> Lots of figments of Lobato's imagination in here. There we go. So we go around the world's collecting figments. We are in Lobato's mind right now. When you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. <laughs> um. This is where the dental stuff comes in. Fair warning if you're a little bit squeamish about it. It won't take too long. But, uh, I know not everyone is comfortable with it, and this game actually does give a warning. Great job following go. Orders, Private. You go on ahead. I'll take up the rear guard. Can't pick up that tooth, picks it up with ease. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I'm sorry, mods. I honestly thought that the, um, uh, the, like, breakdown of what happened before was earlier than this, but it has been a while since I started this game. Well... Let's soldier through, Private. Unzip that dental door. Gross. Good job, soldier. What's that light? Uh-oh. Zip it back up again. Zip it. Ah! There. Now that your cap is clean, let's check out those choppers. Hmm. If I didn't know better, I'd swear this place had gremlins. No problem. I'm sure I can do this in the dark. Mm. Uh... Hey, Honeywood, we did play the first one yet. Coach, this room is definitely not in Sasha's plan. In fact, I think it's a trap. No. That's just a sensor. Everybody has those. You live in your mind and stamp out things that don't belong like us you handle this one i'll find a way out <laughs> the way there was a chair on his face it's like a brand new game like russian stall but you can go into settings and watch it oh can you all right thank you all right there we go so the mental energy that's our health in the in the brain world Spongebob creature, the Krusty Krab. But yeah, um, I'll go and try to show that to you guys here soon because it was a really good intro. Mental energy for me today, minus one. do your thing with the dental door here. Ugh. I can't even look at it. Hmm. Sounds like there's some emotional baggage nearby. There is. All right. Get that sorted. So... It gives you a tutorial, but pretty much, uh, when we go into each world, there's going to be various collectibles and things to find. There's figments, which are those kind of like drawing things. 
Um, there's emotional baggage, which is actual baggage. <laughs> um, and you have to pair the baggage with the bag tag. So, you'll hear them kind of crying. Uh, and here's the tag, for example. This yes, is just tutorial level. The duffel bag tag. I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. Granted, they did bring all the old bags into this game, so you might. <laughs> you might. There we go. And like I said, right now we are in Lobato's mind, so it's like this mix of dental and Psychonaut office. Um, we were trying to see who his uh, his boss was, because he's kind of been doing things that we don't think he would be capable of on his own. Long story short. Uh, they shorten the baggage. Yeah, it's a lot shorter, yeah. Uh, and that's kind of where the, the game drops you. Memory vaults, that's another thing that you can uh, find in the various things. They're like these little puppy bank hey, vault things. That's one of Dr. Roboto's vaults. And you can see something from his memories. So here he is with uh, Mr. Pokelope <laughs> from the end of the first game. Uh, he has a passport, a map, and money handed to him. Uh, he seems to have made another base. There he is in his other base. <laughs> and here he is doing experiments on fish. And fish people. And playing poker with fish people. <laughs> I should try to catch it. Could be high value insects. Alright, there we go. Let's see. Uh <laughs> Oh, I can't do anything with that just yet. Okay, I think we got... Oh, no, we did not get everything, but we almost got everything. <laughs> do the C. By the way, Loki, anyone in here who watched Luca, can we talk about how similar that movie is to The Little Mermaid, but it's like kind of a little bit different, but it's different enough. Really good. Find that way. See you on the other side. But yeah. <laughs> All right, excuse me, coming through. Looks like some sort of conference room in here. Oh, I hate conferences. Is that you? I need. Ooh. I'm coming, Sasha. Sasha. Yep. Someone's yeah, Bruno. <laughs> Careful, it's a. Ooh. Ah, uh, Fudge, thank you so much for the 14 month of reset. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Couldn't do this himself. The... Oh, could you stop hitting Sasha? I won't let them eat you, Sasha. Countermeasures oh, oh too strong. Oof. Uh, right bumper, there we go. Please, let's get clear of this aggressive. Sasha. How is Lobato breaking through the office construct? He couldn't be doing this on his own. He must be getting help from someone even more... ...sinister. Get ready, Rasputin. <laughs> Ever, I hope that you enjoy your, uh... Ah. Drink. Sasha! I- ooh, I've got the situation on- ow, control! Ah, just find us a way out of here, quickly. Yeah, don't bother with them, little mooks. You want to go for the gold. You got to grab the big boys. Help me carry this one, will you, Frankie? Where did they get the rope from? I guess it's probably dental floss, actually. Come I have early sex and I'm hungry for lunch. It's only 10.45. I hate that. Um, but yeah, the one guy who we were just talking to, uh, Sasha, he was actually one of our camp counselors and is a proper psychonaut, um, and I may or may not ship him with another character very heavily. He may or may not be my favorite. Because he's just so cool. <laughs> Come here. There we go. All right. Uh, I think we got everything. Either try and like mine because of the cold. It's freezing, isn't it? We actually have proper snow on the ground right now. It was snowing all day yesterday. Hey, here we 
even brush before you came in here today? Honestly, it's a mess in there. Oh, moon. Same. Here, rinse and spit. Oh no, not back in the trap. Trap? Coach? Coach, where'd he go? Oh, well, that's a good sign. What is it? That is a regret. If Lobato has regrets, then maybe there's a way we can still get to him. Let's get out of here and find Lobato. Uh, Sasha? <gasps> Are regrets dangerous? Oh, yes, extremely. Take care of that one, will you, while I find an exit? All the adults seem to just kind of want to pile my work up, don't they? <laughs> just want to first hear about moving semi for how bad the special effects were 20 years ago. <laughs> My favorite is that you can see the string holding some floating candles. <laughs> How are you doing today, though? Welcome on in. Oh, affection, I hate that. Good job, Rasputin. Unfortunately, I can't find a way out of here anywhere. Uh, Sasha? How long has that golden door been there? Golden what? Did somebody say gold? Frankie, here's our chance for revenge! Oh, not these guys. I'll keep looking. Somehow, when I was picturing the Tooth Fairy, again. I didn't I'm think of them like this. <laughs> Rasputin, you see what you can find through that door. I'm going to stay here and attempt to repair my construct. <laughs> Child labor. <laughs> uh, where was the... Oh, here it is, here it is, okay. Is there anything new here? <gasps> Bubbling Roses, hello, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the 19 month free sub. I do appreciate that. Freezing here too in England. Yeah. Alrighty. Here we are. More grossness. We'd love to see it. Oh, this is not getting any better. Raz! Is that you? Come down here! Lily! I'm coming! On my way, girl. Oh dear, I'm not on my way. Uh oh. Okay. Slippery. Kind of on my way. Oh, that's something I forgot to mention. Still got that water phobia, huh? It's not a phobia, it's a curse. Back in Grulovia, my whole family was cursed to die in water, and- Yeah, yeah, super sad. Look at these posters! I think someone else planted these in Lobato's mind to intimidate him. And make sure he didn't tell us who hired him to kidnap your dad. Let's get rid of that. Maybe it'll help. Help me burn these posters, Raz. Sixteen Celsius in Iowa. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing right now. Um, so we have only pig squeal. Lip bumper. There we go. Loose Ooh, lips sink like drips. <laughs> an even bigger room. I'm gonna catch up to Lobato. Don't be a rat. I'll catch up after I make sure these posters are all burnt. Don't snitch and shh. <laughs> I feel bad about not recycling these, even though they're not real. One bad tooth ruins the bunch. She's watching. That's interesting. Shut it. I actually didn't take the time to read these my first time around. I don't think there's anything else here. Do you actually want me to burn them all? Is that what you want, girl? Because I can do that for you. Um, but yeah, something I forgot to mention in my little, like, rundown of what the game is. Um, Raz has a bit of a history with water. His family was cursed to die in water, so that's kind of this game's way of being like, you know, here, platform over some water, and if you fall in it, you die. Um, there'll be a hand that comes out and tries to drag him under. Um, if he goes near water, so it's pretty interesting. Yeah, Snooty, definitely last year was a little bit weird, wasn't it? All right. Uh, so that. Oh God. Am I right? 
We're not here to hurt you. We just want to know who hired you to kidnap Truman Zanotto. There we go. Why can't you just let it go? Oh, well, that ends well. Veneers for all. <laughs> it's nice, but not normal. This warm weather of December is not normal for Iowa. Usually you have tons of snow by now. Can I burn you? Oh wow, I can. Look at us go. Oh god, oh don't touch that. What's that sound? Oh hey! Emotional baggage. Try something under your desk and everything on the floor starts falling over, and then once you grab the item, you bang your head into your desk! Oh no! Oh, Walker, it sounds like you're not having such a good day. <laughs> Hopefully that uh, that changes soon. That's just like everything that could go wrong did for you. Oh god, I can't reach it. Oh god, the water got me. Oh well. Can I, uh, can I grab a grab? There we go. Oh god. Ow, ow, we're fine. You got got it, I did. That hand be grabbing for this booty. Okay, maybe I won't see the Nikki bag since the graphics are better now. It it is, yeah. So if you guys missed it, the first game came out, you know, early 2000s. Um for like Xbox, I think. Uh we were playing the PC port of it. But I'm not gonna say it aged all that well. <laughs> sweetie, sweetie, coming for that booty. Who are you protecting? Myself. I just, I appreciate. Have you guys ever seen people who are like working from home and they do like employee of the month and it's just their dog or them? <laughs> I appreciate this. I wish I had this level of self love. I think we could all use a bit more of that. Do you got anything behind you? I don't like this game likes to hide things behind pictures, so I this think I hear something. Sorry, employee of the month, me, myself, and I. I don't think I have your bag tag, girl. I'm sorry. I need the purse tag here. We're well, gonna have to come back for you. But you can go back in the levels at any time, really. Uh, as far as I know in this game, it's pretty straightforward. Burn it. Was that you screaming? Or me? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Listen, we all have our doubts and regrets, but it's too late to turn back now. Understand? What we have to do now is finish the extraction. Was it the Billy, yellow one? I think Lobato is starting to have doubts. Duh, they're right over there. Holds you back. <laughs> Luckily, they're highly flammable. You take care of them while I find a way out, okay? Oh, Pepper. We're almost done. We're getting there. Oh, wrong button. There we go. <gasps> Is that side pop? Heck yes. All right, so that can help you out if you're uh, low on mental energy, which I wish there was such thing as Cybops IRL. As I get hit. <laughs> Maybe that's why they gave it to me, because I knew I was doing poorly. Hey, Raz, doesn't this painting look familiar? Get away from me, you scary little girl! Think we should burn it? Oh, you haven't changed, have you? Come on, just tell us who hired you to kidnap my dad. Oh, um, this is really personal for you, isn't it? You better believe it is! Well, I'm sorry, Tim. You were offended. I feel like there's probably more in here, but... Okay, I can't find it. Not on purpose, at least. It was an accident. You've got 
got to be kidding me. Your father got lost. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. I think I just did. <laughs> We love Mia. Yes, darling. Nothing. Did you forget everything I taught you about levitation, Rasputin? No. Your thoughts can lift you up if you focus. Better mm. hurry before we hit the ground. There you go. Now let's get out of here. Lobato needs our help. Yes. <laughs> Wait, help Lobato. Someone really did a number on that poor thing. I think he wants to tell us who hired him. Let's find him and help him. There we go. Um, this is a really nice introduction, I feel like, because it doesn't give you all your skills from the first game right away, but you do get them by the end of the tutorial. If I were in the game, I think my level would be full of doubt, sarcasm, and general uneasiness. What do you guys think your level would look like? Yep. I think mine would just be video game things everywhere. <laughs> I missed one. I have to go back. I'm sorry. Touch, 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 touch. Oh God, oh dear Lord. There we go. I need a side pop. Why am I so rainbow? Is that, is that low health? Is that really what that looks like? Let me eat a side pop. Mm, those go. side pops are good and good for you. There we go. Okay, uh, there's a bag tag. Don't forget to float, darling. I want that. There we go. Uh, can I reach this right now? First tag. Come here. Mm, death perception. All right. I'll wait. I'll wait. Come here. Oh, and cats. My mind would be full of video games and cats. <laughs> Just like this horrible amalgamation of both. Indicator I was proud of something. Like, oh <laughs> like a little corner of, of like, you know uh self-confidence. Oh, I did oh sorry, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay, that could have gone much more smoothly. Those are good, we like those. We do. Uh, Citanium. So this is the currency in the game. New router arrived. Nice. Or router, I guess you would say. <laughs> Got some good comments on assignment that I worked really hard on, so now I'm kind of feeling myself. Heck yes, girl. Get it. That's what we'd like to hear. I'm trying to get that. There we go. <laughs> Router, that's what they say! Vendelin, that's what they say, Router. It's a router. <gasps> Sasha! Oh, wait, Mia! Come on. Mia, the mission is falling apart. We've lost control of Lobato. There's a little chaos on every mission, Raz. A psychonaut must always remember how to roll with it. You remember how to gather your thoughts and roll with them, right? Potassium! <laughs> Uh, press L on the ground. There we go. All right, time to get rolling. I seem to remember failing at this quite a bit, so fair warning. It was that jump I couldn't get. Why did I not get that the first time? This is not my kind of party. Ah. Mia, Mia, I'm coming. I could say something, but I won't. Mia. Where are you? Sasha, I can't reach Mia. I think she's been dementistrated. Sasha, suitcase tag. Oh. <laughs> I just jumped right off. Anyway, uh, for those who played or watched me play the first game, this area might look a little bit familiar. Um, down there is the summer camp we were at, and up here is actually one of the final areas of the game, which was Lobato's hideout or tower or whatever you want to call it. Yep. So many teeth. <laughs> uh, 
too spook memory. Can't tell mood. It's all good. When I first got here, I got super excited because I'm like, oh, I want to go back to the camp. <laughs> okay. Oh. What am I supposed to do again? It's him. I've got to stop him. Get him. No. Oh, sensors are like, no. When it's a platformer. I'm horrible at platformers. Like, I think we all know this at this point. But I absolutely love this game. It's like I'll make an exception, you know what I mean? Imagine working on this game and have to look at teeth all day. Shout out to the devs, right? There's some weirder levels, trust me. I mean, my gal, you know, but like other people. Uh, there, there's really strange levels in this. This one, I think, is kind of maybe the most, uh... This one makes me the most squeamish, at least. Go. Uh, I learned how to pick apples off trees and is now decided there's a favorite snack. Oh, that's really cute. I hope, like, I'm assuming that's fine for Pepper, but that's adorable. Okay, so we missed a couple of them. I think we missed two. You can see the total up there. But that's okay. You can always come back. I put the egg in the box, and the box in the basket, and the basket in the ocean. No, no, that's not it. Put the old box in the basket, and the egg in the ocean. You put the egg in the basket, and the old egg in the box, and the box in the ocean. <laughs> Simple. And if you tell anyone about me, anyone at all, you'll have to deal with her. No, not her. Please don't make me look at her again. No, no, I won't tell. I won't tell anyone. I promise. No, please. And there's your intro. <laughs> Angry screen. No, not her. I won't tell. Oh, there's the rat friend. That bozo's brain was booby trapped. Yes, whoever hired Lobato to kidnap Truman knew he might be psychically interrogated. The poor thing looks terrified. Did anyone get a good look at his boss? I saw him, but I couldn't tell who he was. And I saw... something else. I saw the thing that terrified Lobato. It was... a woman, dressed in black fur. She was floating over the ruins of a city. And she was commanding serpents of water. There was something familiar about her. Rasputin, I'm going to show you a picture. That's her! Wait a second. I thought I recognized her. True Psychic Tales, issue 43. She's on the cover. Maligula. The Deluge of Grulovia. Maligula? She's been dead for 20 years! Ford Crawler killed her himself! A battle from which he never truly recovered. She was a monster. A ruthless, power-hungry psychic who drowned hundreds of her own countrymen. Nevertheless, she still has her loyal followers to this day. This file documents recent activity believed to be the work of these modern-day delusionaries. What are they up to? Well, it's ridiculous, really. There's no scientific basis to... Necromancy. What? They're trying to bring her back to life? It's silly, darling. But if they believe they can do it, they might do some dangerous things. Mia, have you considered the other disturbing fact in all of this? That 
that unstable character. Could Beat never it. kidnap the grand head Get of the lost. Psychonauts without help? Yes. You mean... There's a mole in the Psychonauts. You think this is a mole? You're dumber than you look. <laughs> Approaching the mother lobe. Hey, Buzz, how are you doing today? Agent Forsyth, why did you deny us intel when we hailed the Mother Lobe? What are you talking about, Agent Nine? We were on a mission to rescue the Grand Head of the Psychonauts. When we called for assistance, I never heard any call. Who did you talk to? Is he all right? We won't know for sure until we get that squirrel tested for rabies. This is our kidnapper. Clearly, he had help on the inside. Impossible. A mole in the Psychonauts? We have reason to believe delusionists are involved. And they're trying to bring back Maligula. What? I know. Isn't it great? Psychonauts haven't had this kind of a threat in years. Can someone help me with my dad? He's still acting funny. Truman! Let's get him inside so he can lie down. Why don't we just I carry him until Alex in my meditation chamber? I'm taking Lobato to my office for further interrogation. I'm gonna talk to Otto about our military options. Does that make anyone else a little nervous? Who are you? I'm Raz. Uh, Rasputin? I'm, uh, your newest psychonaut? How's that? Uh, Ford Crowler, he, he gave me a badge. I've been kinda helping out. <laughs> Listen, kid. Agent Crowler is a hero. But he's not operating at 100%. He can hand out all the merit badges he wants, but he doesn't have the authority to commission psychonauts. But you can, right? You're Hollis Forsythe, lesser head of the psychonauts? True Psychic Tales 146. You and Truman fought the Noodler together. I prefer the title, Second Head. If the other agents vouch for you, I might be able to get you a spot. In the intern program. But don't be late for orientation. I hear the coordinator's a real brain buster. Welcome to the mother lobe. And there's our intro. Hi, Pepper's Nan. <laughs> um, so, that's kind of our introduction. Uh, we're coming back from a rescue mission. Uh, for the Grand Head of the Psychonauts, and right away Raz is just told, yeah, no, you may have been told you were part of the Psychonauts, but you're legit just an intern. Um, so let me go ahead, I want to find... I'm assuming I have to go into the extras menu? For the, the introduction? I thought it was going to play at the beginning of every game, but I didn't realize it wouldn't, so... <laughs> I can go find that though real quick if you guys give me just a second here. Uh, I think it auto saves. Yes, okay. It auto. I quit out of the game fully. Crap. <laughs> Bear with. I meant to hit go back to menu. Oh god. It's all good though. Be buzz not at all, not at all. The way I like to describe this game. Um. Is, um. It's similar to like Tim Burton, like uh, kind of creepy, weird, weird game to go. It's not sinking. Bear with, bear with. Bear, bear with. We'll get there. There we go. Same problem, because the intro started playing, the sandbar wasn't on, I was worried I missed it forever. Oh no! That would be frustrating. 
Hey, you do still welcome on in. I hope that your uh, work day is going well. Let's just skip that. The intro is very loud. <laughs> okay, so mods, when I find it, this is what I hope to be clipped if possible. Um, and if not, I can highlight it later. Extras? Previously on Psychonauts, here we go. This will this will do. Dear True Psychic Tales magazine, it's me again, Rasputin Aquato. I know I write a lot, and you haven't printed any of my True Psychic submissions so far, but this one's different. This one's true. I just helped rescue Truman Zanato, the grand head of the Psychonauts, and father of Lily Zanato, my girlfriend. Although the term is still very fresh and might need fact checking before we go to print. There was a kiss, but... Okay, I'm already getting off track. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up in the circus, the Aquato Family Circus, a ragtag little caravan of acrobats run by my parents. We were taught all our lives to hate and fear psychics, or fortune tellers as we knew them, all because of some old thing where they cursed the Aquatos to die in water. Problem is, I am psychic. I have been all my life. I hid my powers from my family, practicing them in secret, until one fateful night. After a show, a mysterious stranger handed me a brochure for Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, a training facility for psychic kids, operated by the International Espionage Agency we all know as, bum bum bum, the Psychonauts. I ran away from home that night. When I got to Whispering Rock, I blended in seamlessly with the other campers. Superstar secret agent Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello taught me levitation and psi blast. I learned pyro and telekinesis from Ford Crawler himself. He was all over camp, literally all over, due to his ability to teleport. He even took up psychic residence in my head, which I could prove to you if you had a piece of bacon. Needless to say, things were going great. The one little catch was that the head coach of the camp was stealing campers' brains and putting them inside armored death tanks that I guess he was going to use to take over the world or something. I went into his mind and found out he just had some issues with his father. I mean, who doesn't, right? Now he's okay. Not great, but okay. Just as Ford Kreller was making me an honorary psychonaut for all my hard work, word came in that Truman Zanato had been kidnapped. So my fellow Psychonauts and I jumped in a jet and set out to find him. Our search led us to an abandoned underwater outpost of the Psychonauts in a dangerous part of the ocean, known as the Rhombus of Ruin. We found Truman there, held captive by Dr. Lobato, unlicensed dentist and amateur brain surgeon. We freed Grand Head Zanato, but he's got Silurian poisoning and can't tell us what happened. We know Lobato wasn't acting alone, but he won't tell us who hired him to kidnap Truman. Agent Nine has an idea how to get the information, using an elaborate psychic construction implanted in Lobato's mind. It's risky, but that's just a way of life when you're a psychonaut. If I don't make it back, I really hope you consider publishing my letter. And also, please consider the sample layout and illustrations I included. Well, I better get my head in the right place. The mission is about to begin. There's the intro. <laughs> I thought that would play at the beginning of everything, but either way, that was a really good explanation. We didn't go through the rhombus of ruin. Thank you so much for trying to clip it. I didn't realize it was so long. I'll, I'll go back and highlight it properly. So if people come in being like, what's this? I can be like, there you go. <laughs> um, but that is the intro. That is the uh, thing I was kind of going on about, so. Yeah. <laughs> it was too big. <laughs> okay, so we are back. Once again, that is kind of a catch up of what happened in the first game, how Raz got here. Uh, and right now he has just entered the Mother Lobe, which is the Psychonauts headquarters uh, for the very first time. And he is an intern. So that's what you said. Oh my goodness. All right, uh, there's one thing I want to note. If you ever see me kind of stop and just kind of listen, there's a lot of characters who walk around in this game and they have some of the best side dialogue I have ever heard in my life. 
So if you ever just see me stop and listen, you might know why. Scanning for fingerprint. Access denied. I still haven't watched hey, how it, my deal. Thing work? Sorry. No tours today. Excuse me? Excuse let me let me in. I am an intern here. Do you know who I am? <clears throat> Hey, is it okay if I go up into the main headquarters now? I'm sorry, little boy, but there just aren't any school tours today. Wow. What? I'm an intern. Agent Forsyth gave me this. <laughs> really? Let's check your head in the fingerprint reader, please. <laughs> program let me get you your orientation materials thank you my goodness all right welcome to the intern program this field manual will act as your guide through the world of psychonauts your progress is tracked here along with information you gather on your journey um it's your journal long story short <laughs> intern profile your internship progress is tracked on this page intern rank is key to unlocking new psychic abilities wow that picture really captures my startled side <laughs> it's a gorgeous picture is the buffer on your end i'm not dropping any frames yeah i'm not dropping any frames um has anyone in here ever had a really bad like id photo taken like passport or health card or you know whatever because i've had one where they straight up cropped my hair to make it look straight because i didn't know how to go around the curls <laughs> or they were too lazy to either way all my photo ID are bad. My most recent ones are pretty good. <laughs> uh, this is our Psy Powers page. So at the Ooh, moment we have like access... I choose where to focus my energy and upgrade my powers. Thank you, Raz. Very interesting. Are you done? We have access to melee abilities. We have access to telekinesis. Uh, Psy Blast, which is like shooting... Shooting stuff out of your face. Uh, levitation and pyrokinesis, so... We get to level these on us up. Look like a criminal on mine. <laughs> there we go. Area. So these are the areas we visited. Got to keep track of all the places I've been here. Uh, mission log, obviously. I'll keep my to-do list here. And that's it, I think. Same bitch face on mine. It looked terrible. Look like an addict in my rail card photo. Pyro? Fire? Random? The Pyro one is honestly one of my favorites and Mike's favorites. It's just really good. Scanning for fingerprint. Access granted. <laughs> Hate to retake some of them. Tootin' tootin' rest bootin'. Wow! <laughs> I can't believe I'm really here! Psychonauts headquarters! Ow! Oh. Sorry, new ball. Wow! Alrighty, so here we are. This is Hub World, long story short. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite Hub Worlds because there's so much to explore in it. But, uh, for Raz, he's been reading these psychic magazines and stuff for forever. Um, that's interesting that they just said that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, and this is kind of like a dream come true to finally be here, so you'll see him fanboying a lot. Got some new gadgets available in my shop for testing. I, I mean, for purchase. They're testing. totally safe. Not available to interns, obviously. Wow, rude. All right, so we got the noodle bowl. We got the classrooms. We have the nerve center. We have the agent's area. We have the mail room. We have astral lanes, and we have a place called Ford's bit to hair cutting place because we must look stylish while we are being psychic. Mailman? <laughs> All right, give me just a second here. So those purple spots, those are just money deposits. And these um, bring a bunch of the automatic. You can combine it with a core to gain a whole rank. So essentially, if you gain enough of these, you can level up automatically without doing anything. Yep. It was the milkman before, yes. 
but in this one we have the mailman. I like the mailman though. Alrighty, look at look at the little rat friend. Are you doing all right, buddy? Money, not bunny. <laughs> Can I do anything to help Lily? Yeah, keep me from killing Jared here. Poor Jared. I know too many of his weak points. Um. Why won't they let you upstairs? Why won't they let you upstairs? I forgot he reads out. No, psychic sanitation or something. I'm sure your dad's going to be okay, Lily. Raz. I don't know. He just feels all wrong. I'm worried all that Silurium we found him with in the rhombus of ruin did some damage. I'm sure they'll let you up soon. I need to get up there right now so I can start Dad's psych herb therapy. Uh, can we talk about that time we kissed? Hey, can we? Uh, what? Nothing. She is his girlfriend. Yeah. Um. Very, very fresh new girlfriend, and they're really, really fucking cute. It's adorable. Uh, do you know some secret passages around here you could use? Don't you know some secret passages around here you could use? Tons of them, but everyone's got mole madness right now, so everything's on double lockdown. Uh, they put me in the intern program. They put me in the intern program. Are you in there too? <laughs> Raz, I've been training here since before I could walk. I tested out of all that stuff. This mole stuff is weird, huh? What's gonna happen? Oh, please. I've been around here my whole life. And trust me, nothing ever happens. Sorry, I remember the last time you said that? Are you sure there's nothing I can do to help? Well, actually, would you mind if I... Could I just... Anything. Can I just punch you in the shoulder really hard? Of course. Uh, He's far too nice. Thanks. That helped. Anytime. <laughs> well, I better get to Jared's just like. You'll like Hollis, I think. She's strict, but deep down, she's really serious. Okay. <laughs> They're adorable. Lily's. <gasps> Interact with Brat Friend. Look, Lily. It's that rat we found on the Rhombus of Ruin mission. Don't act like you remember, Harold. We went through a lot together. Look at his little jacket. <laughs> we love Harold. Harold is here for us. Alrighty. Oh god, sorry. How do I... Agent Jumping is this button. Please yes. Please report to Agent Forsyth's office. Uh, early days. This plaque talks about how young Ford Crawler worked as a park ranger, so he can investigate this area and its notoriously strange phenomenon. He eventually set up a permanent camp in Green Needle Gulch and protected the area with psychic illusions and defenses. Um, if anyone is new or, or doesn't remember, maybe there was a guy at the summer camp we were at in the first game. Yeah, they called him Ford or Crawler. It's its full name, and he was everywhere. He was the cook, he was a janitor, I think he was a groundskeeper. Um, he was absolutely all over the place, and he's a little bit off his rocker. <laughs> um, and we found out something happened to him, we'll go more into it in this game, but something happened that kind of unhinged his mind a little bit, and he is never really the same. He was one, he is the founding member of the Psychonauts, and he's kind of not really in action anymore, so they put him over at the summer camp. Um, he could have moments of clarity, especially when he had something strapped to him. I forget what the name of it was. Um, but he, he was a little bit crazy. He's also just a fan of bacon. He's awesome. <laughs> After you had to work really soon, I have this huge hang since I woke up. Oh, Rosie, have you taken anything? I'm sure you've had water, but... It says here Ford recruited powerful psychics from around the world to join him in Green Needle Gulch. Bob Zanotto... Helmet Fulbear, Cassiopeia, Compton Bull, and Otto Mentalis. Together, this Psychic Six formed the foundation of today's Psychonauts. There they go, and then there's the Deluge of Grilovia. This is the story of how the international community called on the Psychic Six to defeat the psychic mass murderer known as Maligula, and how that fight 
the Battle of Glovia solidified the Psychonauts as an international peacekeeping force. Yep. That's exactly who I saw in Lobato's mind. Mm. All right, and then we have the modern mother lobe. There's a picture of the quarry being excavated and the mother lobe being built. This panel is about the ribbon cutting ceremony for the mother lobe. They don't look too happy about it, except for Otto. This one is blank. Consider buying a suit, kid. Excuse me? Greetings, agent. Future agent? Why is your first words out of your mouth like, consider buying a suit? Listen, all right, I... I probably could, actually. <laughs> Scooter, I'm loving it. How are you doing today? Yeah, bros, it definitely takes something before going. Don't want to be out there with a headache. Hey, right, and... We gotta get our mun muns because we're gonna be buying stuff soon. Ooh, what are you Running. doing? Hello. Hey, Sonny. Okay. Um, so we got bowling. We got this mural. Which... Excuse oh. me, but do you know where intern orientation is? Second floor, past the classroom. Thanks. If you pass the restrooms, you went the wrong way. What, are we recruiting from kindergartens now? Hey! You're just jelly. <laughs> but you're not as cute as I am. My goodness. Sorry about this. Um... Hey, mister. I hope you're having a great one. Um, and enjoy your lurk. Rosie, have a good- have a good time? And... Aw, uh, how's your puppy doing, Scooter? Greetings, fellow. Hey, wow. Claire. Here they are! The Psychic Six! The group of paranormal experts Ford Crowler gathered together to form... The Psychonauts! I read all about them in True Psychic Tales, number one. Tragically, none of them were the same after fighting Maligula in the deluge of Grulovia. Less tragically, but still upsetting, my mom used that issue of True Psychic Tales to line the floor of the world's smallest horse trailer. I think some- I think it may have been Rosie pointed out the, the small horse. Uh... In that intro sequence that we just watched, that- that is the world's smallest horse. <laughs> Hi! I'm sorry. I just hate children. I... Cool. Visit your friendly local automatic fresh That's not how you talk about someone behind the back. Hey, kid. You didn't take the toilet plunger, did ya? Hey, what's up, chief? There's a toilet plunger missing? Welcome to Automac. This is your one-stop shop for Psychonaut supplies. Can um... Okay, so it doesn't let us do a lot right now because we're an intern, but that's okay. Idea. Let's make a side challenge marker and get you ranked up. So this is how you can uh, rank up, essentially. Never had an Xbox console. Uh, the first one's now on Steam if you're at all interested, but it's really really good honestly all right and then there are pins uh pins let you add custom tweaks to your psi power so it's kind of there's some beneficial ones in here and there's some like uh visual or uh what's the word i'm thinking of here they're just for looks i can't remember the word all right do you guys want a blue a blue ball a green ball or a red ball <laughs> Because we can choose one of these colors for our levitation. Ball. Oh. <laughs> Blue. Cosmetics, that's the word. Thank you. Blue. Blue. <laughs> All right. Uh, bind. Excellent choice. There we go. So I'll show so you guys cool here. Stuff in there. I'll come back later. Uh, now our our ball is blue. <laughs> Early 2000 kid games were so good. They were. 
Have you guys tried the new smooth ultra beige low pulp stock? No. What's so special about that? It's double sided. Wow. What will they think of next? Oh, we love double sided. Order anything? Nah. I'm holding out for the bacon. You are a honey pepper fool. <laughs> Why did that remind me of what Mendelin usually says? Got a side card. Here we go. I'll take that card. Also, did anyone get anything for Black Friday or Got some um, credits. Steam sales or anything like that? I got Sea of Thieves on Steam, and that's about it. <laughs> I don't have a key. Okay, so we found a supply chest. So just like in in the brain worlds, in the uh, physical world, there are also some collectibles to get, which I think is really fun. It makes the hub world a little bit more interesting. Though I'm broke mood. <laughs> Honey pepper or bacon. So, what's good today? Why do I bother making signs? <laughs> this man's just like. Please help. I can see everything. Think about getting Cozy Grub? Do it. I'm a horrible influence, but like, my goodness, that game is great. An air purifier? That's cool. Let the automatic take a load off. Oh. Christmas presents because I'm an adult. See, that would be a smart thing to do. I should have done that. Approaching Satan in mass capacity, which means we gotta go spend. I wanna get Mystery Dungeon DX. Oh, but it wasn't on sale, right? That's unfortunate. Rare blood, uh, rain revamp one and two for Switch. Oh, very nice. Well, if it isn't my favorite customer. Okay, let's see what we can get here. I think everything in here might be a bit too pricey. Break into dance when you're standing around doing zilch. It's called the bobby pin. I love that. Um, I'm gonna see if there's anything like beneficial. Use telekinesis to pet your furry forest friend. Um, that's important. Great. Obviously. Making me simply spend my money on video games, I see. I, I'm a very bad influence, honestly. You know, Cooney. Oh, winter, yes! If you need a big win, come down and get a performance enhancing pin. Oh, Mentlin, no. Uh. Oh, Pepper, that's neat. That's neat. Alrighty. Hello? Hi. Hello. Uh. Attention all interns. Huh. If you do not have a mentor yet, please report to my office immediately for assignment. Okay, I am going. Hey, look out! Oh, sorry, I didn't... Whoa! Ow! That's mean! Did he hurt you, baby? I'm not a baby. Yeah, you are. Question is, who's this new kid? My name is Raz, and I'm the new intern. That's ridiculous. I didn't ask for a new intern. Intern program's full. Sorry, kid. He is clumsy. He'd probably get us all killed. And he's mean. Well, kid, we give it a fair shot, and it looks like it just didn't work out. Better luck next year. Guys, quit picking on the new kid. We were all new ones, in case you forgot. I think he'll fit in just fine. In fact, I think he'll look cute in our uniform. Let's take him to the closet. He's gonna go hang out with the mods. Hey, you okay in there, Rusty? What's the holdup? It's Raz. I was just wondering, if there's an intern uniform, how come you guys aren't wearing it? Oh, well, we're level two. Now just hand out your clothes and we'll get you that uniform. Well, can't you hand me the uniform first? <laughs> no, silly. We need to take your clothes and measure them so we can get you a uniform that fits. Unless you want us to come in there and measure you. No, no. Here you go. Just hurry up, okay? It's cold in here and I'm practically naked. Uh-oh. Guys? Oh, come on! This is embarrassing in so many ways. All right, we're a little naked, but that's all right. As to the Kingdom Hearts full collection, yes, <laughs> enjoy it. Well, those kids are something else. Uh, reach your full mental potential with Mind Swarm, Cassiopeia. So that's one of the founders of the Psychonauts again, or one of the 
early members, I guess I could say. Raz, why do you fall for that? <laughs> He's so cute. Threw some boxes at the bottom, they look really nice. Thank you! I tried to make them... Oh, what button is it? No. I tried to make them look like the tabs here and like the writing, but it's a little bit closer to what the main original game looks like. <laughs> Thank you. I don't have a key. Oh, shame. Hello. Ooh. Yep. Got a key. Aha. I'll bet this key goes to that supply chest I found. And your thing is with all the games you play are clever. Thank you. I really enjoy doing it. Like, part of me is like, you know, I could just make the game full screen and it would be a lot easier, but I kind of enjoy it. It just, it, it's something I can do to get myself hyped. I still freaking bullies. <laughs> TOS. I had. <laughs> uh, okay. I need. I need out, please. I don't know the code. Rats. <gasps> Harold. Oh, sorry, Harold. You're absolutely right. I should think about how I'm using that word. What is it, Harold? Do you know the code? Harold knows everything. Is the code in there, Harold? I'm too big to go in there. If only I could see what you see in there. Hey, that reminds me. Clairvoyance, there we go. Uh, uh, for like half off. If you have the extra money, that's great. I don't think I've ever heard of that one either, I have to admit. But uh, I need to go check out the, the sales. Okay, um, so I am going to clip clairvoyance probably on this one. Time to see the world as you see. Okay, so this is one of my favorite features of this game. <laughs> clairvoyance, you can go into someone's mind and see how they see things. Aha! That's it, Harold. Zero seven two six chat. Um and I'm not moving, uh, Harold, I'm moving myself still, but I can see how he views me, which is a giant rat. <laughs> oh, superstars. I've heard really good things about that game. I'm avoiding looking at the eShop because I have quite the backlog to get through. This is fair. But yeah, that's how Harold sees me. And there'll be a couple more instances of like, we can go into people's minds and see what they think of us, kind of. So it was 0726, I think? Oh. Is that... Right, it goes outside, I forgot about that. Uh, well, here we go. Oops, sorry, I had my desk. Uh, oh no. <gasps> Girlfriend and teacher. <laughs> No one's definitely gonna see us now. We're hundred percent safe. How far are you in the game? Um, this one? Got we only just started this today. To. So if you would maybe just an hour in. With our investigation. Oh, I'd like to, but I can't. I know you're scared, but if you could just tell me who Sasha, you don't see anything. I'm not Nanky over here, it's all good. Got other teacher having to see this. I'm not here. I'm not here. Sasha, you have to let me do more. You know it's because of me that... Otto. I mean, if I hadn't... Huh. Not a word, Rasputin, until I find you some new clothes. Sorry if the fit is a little off. They're the smallest clothes I had. Now, uh, tell us again how you ended up outside in your underwear. Oh, you know, I, I was sort of going undercover. Just like you did, Agent Mentalis, in True Psychic Tales number 62, when you used your defibrillator to hypnotize 16 trans troopers at once. Oh, please. That old yarn? Oh, they embellished so many details in that version. But in fact, it was 17 troopers. Well, love to chat, but uh, I gotta make like a brain and bounce. If you're ever looking for just the right tool for the job, come see me in my workshop. Even the best psychonauts require a little 
assistance now and then. Now, if you'll excuse me, Rasputin, I need to get back to the matter at hand. No, oh, no. I didn't bend the spoons, Mommy. <laughs> Ooh, I love going through the car wash. Oh, and don't worry about the other interns. Wait a second. <laughs> I got himself off. Well, um, this has been fun, but it's getting late, and I should probably go. I'd like to sit here and listen, because this dialogue can be pretty funny. But uh, it's not my first time going through this game, it's actually the second. I played it when it first came out, and loved it, and I was just like, I need to stream it. <laughs> so we streamed the first one a couple months back, and now we're going through this one. Need any help, Sasha? Yes, from him. Me? Help me find the answers I need. Oh, so this is all my fault. I do love going through the car wash. <laughs> I have um, a story way back when I was in the car in the back seat with a friend. We'd been picked up from elementary school and his mom was driving and she was like, all right, let's go to the car wash. The car, you know, is dirty. And as we're driving up, she kept telling us, roll up your windows, roll up your windows. Like, you know, you don't want to get water in the car. She kept hammering that into us. So much so that she forgot to roll up her own window and she immediately got just water to the face. <laughs> we thought it was hilarious. This is on PC, yeah. Uh, Mitch wanted to leave and I said, heck no. I want Octavia and Ricardo to leave. They've been here for too damn long. Well, I already started to say dank meme like some of the others. She's been on Cinnabar for less than a month. <laughs> She's catching on quick. Have any suspicions? No, that's the frustrating thing. How could anyone in the Psychonauts do this? And how could they keep it a secret? Maybe he just hatched this scheme on his own? He has no motivation. Oh, hello, Dad. Someone <laughs> hired him. And, given his access to Truman, someone on the inside. Oh, and that's smooth as heck. Here for it. So about... Maligula. She's dead, Rasputin. Ford Cruller made sure of that. Nothing for you to worry about. At least we made it out of the rhombus of ruin. You performed well in the field, Rasputin. I'll make sure Agent Forsyth finds out all about it in my report. Just as soon as I'm done here. Why do you think he won't cooperate? He seemed to have such a big change of heart back in the rhombus. Someone has conditioned him, hypnotically, to be unable to tell us, even if he wanted to. But who? I'll let you get back to the interrogation. Sorry I can't help. You've done a lot, Rasputin. Thank you. There we go. So, okay, again, no that's Sasha. He was one of our camp counselors. He's a fully trained psychonaut, and he's a... he's just... Ugh, he's great. <laughs> he, um... Yourself, kid. It's a mess in there. <laughs> he, uh... He's kind of just a scientist, and he... He is a little bit sketchy, Maybe but I absolutely adore him, off? and I ship him with Mia. I'm about 7 mil out of 10 mil, so I'll keep up with it. Imagine. Hopefully next week I'll be able to actually get some turnips, because I didn't this week. Time. Enjoy your lurk, Scooter. Oh, all right. You guys ready? We can. Almost had it. I just need to focus a little longer with This is how he points. sees me, apparently. Can't leave this card lying around. Hey, For kid. some reason. Hi. Hey, little agent. I look a lot cooler in your mind. Can I not? I can't go see old Leander. Can I see Sa or uh, Mia? Oh, <gasps> Mia! Girl! Oh, God. What are, you, what are you doing? Is this a bad time, Mia? I always have time for my kid in Genio. Are you worried about Maligula? Well, she died in the Battle of Grulovia, but sometimes the idea of someone is more dangerous than the person themselves. Her followers are what scare me. When someone devotes their life to a memory, they're capable of anything. That's an interesting idea. Are you meditating? In a way. I'm reaching out to detect ripples in the psychic network around the world. What are you doing that for? 
I'm trying to find the illusionist activity around the world and report it to Agent Forsythe down in the nerve center. I'm sorry, we keep distracting you. Ripples? A name like Maligula carries heavy emotional baggage for many people. It's like a large stone dropped in a pond. Ripples spread out, bounce off each other. If you know how to read the patterns, they can lead you to the source. Uh, I bought four games on sales today. Sales are terrible for my wallet mood. Uh, but one of the games included, ooh, Shin Megami Tensei. And the other one, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. I actually tried meditating before and then I got anxious. I've never tried it. I don't know if I, like, can empty my head enough for what I assume I need to. Can I ask you about the Psychic Six? Of course, Rasputin. Are any of them still around? Oh, yes. Besides Ford, you know, there's Otto Mentalis out in his workshop, still tinkering with his gadgets. Sasha is his number one customer. Dogen Bull's grandfather, Compton, is here as well, but he... he keeps to himself. Mm. The other survivors have gone their own ways, unfortunately. Um, so this is kind of going over the other Psychic Six people. So we actually saw one of them, Otto, just now. Uh, Ford, we saw in the last game, and we'll see him again soon. But then there are these other ones. What happened to... Helmet Fullbear? Oh, that poor soul was lost in the Battle of Grulovia. I wish I could have met him. He seemed to have such a love of life. And color. Oh. Did you ever meet Cassiopeia? No, but I read her book, Mindswarm. Very inspiring. I'm actually using some of her multitasking techniques right now, talking to you while I work. Did you ever work with Lily's great uncle, Bob Zanotto? Oh, yes, poor Bob. He lost so much in the battle. It really took a toll on him. I know it was very difficult for Truman to let him go, but it was getting dangerous. Oh, what that poor family has endured. Well, enough about those guys. Yes, let's talk about us. Are you worried about Truman? To be honest, I've never seen him like this before. But he's very tough, and he has his fearless daughter in there now, taking care of him. Have you talked to Sasha lately? Sasha and I are always talking. Oh, he says hello. Oh, <gasps> well, I'll stop bothering you. <laughs> Never a bother, darling. Ciao. I ship those two far too much. It's probably not good. But I just, they're great, and... Later on, I feel like there's like some hints. Maybe, maybe I'm reading too much into it. These are some very nice looking cushions. Um, yep. But we ship it. <laughs> oh, all right. So we got this. Um, I think that's everything for your room. I actually didn't go in to talk to her in my initial save file, so I got an achievement just there for going to chat with her, which is nice. We like to see it. My computer is lagging. Like, I can see the emotes trying to render and they're like the hype emote. Are you guys noticing any lag on the stream at all? I haven't dropped frames, but I think my computer itself is actually having trouble with all this. But the anchor of the ship is sailed. <laughs> Rude. That was a dirty trick you pulled. I want my clothes back. You know, you're right. I'm sorry. And I'm going to make it up to you. I'm going to let you finish my asset recovery mission. Why do I feel like I'm going to end up naked in a closet again? My intern assignment is to track down this list of missing Psychonaut assets. Mission critical assets. So, like a scavenger hunt? If you think like a child, you will do a child's work. Finish this mission, and we'll know you're ready for your clothes back. This? Meh. <laughs> Gonna lurk near fold and put away all the clothes I washed today. Got a new washing machine after it broke, so I'm way behind. No worries, no worries. So these are optional, uh, but around the 
the main like headquarter area. Track my side missions. There are things that we can actually find. So there's anything from a laser disc to ice cream to books. A hatchet, just like a lot of random stuff, and they kind of give you a little hint on where to find everything. Um, it's just a fun thing you can do on the side. <gasps> Hi, girl. Hey, Sam. Aren't you not supposed to tap the glass? No, it's the opposite. You're supposed to tap on the glass to keep their heart rates up. <laughs> In this predator-free environment, their heart rates get dangerously slow. Huh. Plus, they love it. I mean. Look at him jump. <laughs> she's one of my favorite characters. <laughs> that other one, hey, she's an hey, awful fish. person, but I'm really late to intern orientation now. I better get to the class right away. Oh yeah, is this the guy who I think it is? Hmm. Let me see. That person's aura is telling me their perspective on the world is especially worth seeing. He uh <laughs> This is what I look like to him. This guy only sees bacon. That's all he sees. He just wants bacon. And... Uh. <laughs> Hi! Huh? Oh. <laughs> you got some lucky charms? Oh, I haven't had lucky charms in forever. Enjoy. Alrighty, back to orientation. Hey! Hi! Hey, cutie! <gasps> I'm a cutie. Experts agree. It's just not safe to use clairvoyance. Without my special <gasps> clairvoyance Harold. enhancing pins! Harold, what have you found out about the mole? Nothing? Oh, Harold. Where are you going, bud? He's off on a mission. He's moving fast and he's homebound. <laughs> this game's so fascinating. It's really, really weird, but it is so much fun. My goodness, I can't even. Austerity measures, Oleander. Every department is affected. But it's my PMVP! <laughs> Once I get my pirate radio station going, I'm gonna have a few, not many, DJ jobs open. Oh, yeah? What's it pay? A lot. In exposure. Mm. Plus, you'll get free music appreciation lessons from me. Pass. Oh, look. I, you I don't pay an exposure, dude. Just don't. Did someone say something about pirate radio? No. Yes. No. <laughs> Morris is doing it, and it's totally against the rules, and he's going to get kicked out of the Psychonauts. Lizzie, you're fired. Dream on. <laughs> All right, no let's go see. No pet projects, Maury. You think this... Get a hold of yourself, Oleander. Fighting Maligula without my battle vibe, cheapskates. Hey, I'm with you. Hey, Letting him build a battle anything is probably a bad idea. <laughs> oh, right, new intern. Thought I told you not to be late. I was naked in the closet. Doesn't matter. You need a mentor. Let me see who's left. Ooh, am I helping Mia? Or Sasha on a mission? No. You're in the mailroom. Your mentor is Nick John Smith. Mailroom? Nick John Smith? I've never heard of an agent John Smith. Nick's not an agent. He's not even psychic. He's just good at sorting mail. You'll love Nick. Everybody does. But the mailroom? Ford Crawler himself worked in that mailroom. You could learn a lot there. For one thing, how to be on time. Okay, I've given you fingerprint access to the mailroom. Now scoot, I've got a base to run and a budget to balance. All right. Time to cosplay Raz. I feel like it's it's not a difficult one to do. It'd be really fun, actually. Can I? No, it won't let me burn her stuff. Gosh darn it. I should pay my bills and exposure. <laughs> Can I talk to you? Where do I find my mentor again? Your mentor, Nick John Smith, should be waiting for you in the mailroom downstairs. Why can't you remember this? Ah, uh, BC King Games, welcome on in. How was your stream today? That raid message is not right. But thank you, thank you, thank you for that. How are you doing? Bot? Gosh darn it. All right, someone write that down for me to fix later, please. Uh, okay, I knew there was stuff hidden in here. Yep. But welcome on in, friends. Psychard. How was your stream? How was your day? We are starting off Psychonauts today. We've only really just started. 
Uh, we're kind of just getting ourselves used to the Psychonaut headquarters Side right now. Challenge markers are like a hobby of mine. Uh, also, uh, as we rank up, we get intern credits. You can see those right there that we can use to upgrade our skills. So I think I might. I might go for pyrokinesis. I know it's only for emergencies, but I really so we can now burn like a larger area and maybe a little bit of levitation. Feels like I got a little more spring in my levitation. There we go. Uh, and maybe some side blasts. I think my I should maybe just put one into every time. Last year now. I love that new emote though. It works for everything. <laughs> uh, telekinesis. Put a little extra muster on those TK throws and hit enemies faster and deal more damage. And um, uh, maybe some melee. There we go. We love a good skill tree. We definitely do. Alrighty, let's head on out. Uh, this button. There we go. Oh, excuse me. Oh, <gasps> girl. How hey. you doing? Uh, how's your dad? Terrible. I gotta go get him some therapy plants stat. How'd you get that hatch open? Oh, it's got a fingerprint combination. I can teach it to you. Come here. It's more than just a number. You kind of have to feel it. Do you feel it? Yes. Good. <laughs> Tell anybody you got it from me, and you're dead. Bye! That's my girlfriend. <laughs> Bill, look, Mike. <laughs> uh, now you can access uh, Otto's brain only network for quick travel around the mother lobe. I kind of like to walk just because the NPCs are amazing. Mental injury or grilled cheese, girl? All right. Mail room. When you're not expecting it, brat. Excuse What? Did I just get threatened? I send our girlfriend. Scanning for fingerprint. Granted. So, okay, Got story time. Auto. 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 Story time. <laughs> uh, when I was in my final year of college, they had been working on this massive addition to my building, to the, to the school. Um, it was like a very modern looking building. There was these really nice elevators. So that you can ignore them. Please check in with your mentors regularly. And, um... Mike and I went in one of the elevators in this new building, and it would verbally announce each floor, but the way it did it was so sarcastic. It would just go, first floor. So Mike and I just, like, we're in a crowded elevator, and I think it had been a long day, and we both just start giggling. And every floor it went up, <laughs> it was just, it got worse and worse. And that thinker print thing reminds me of it, so. Mr. John Smith? Hello? Mr. John Smith friend. <gasps> rat friend. Almost had it. I just need to focus on- It was not Harold. Oh my god, this is what the rat thinks I look like. New intern here. There we go. So sometimes you can use the clairvoyance He's to help you find so his stashes. Can I get up there right now? Got it. There we go. Alrighty. I hope Nick's okay. What? Everything okay in here? Who are you? I'm a uh, Nick. John Smith's new intern? Oh, so you're the one not sorting all this mail. Wait, Ooh. you better get all this mail sorted. Quick, you're making Nick look bad. Rude. Roll the boxes only see that card up there. I could not get to it. Oh, no. Yoink. All right, let's sort some mail. Uh, what mail am I sorting? This one? There we go. This one for that one. 
for this one, that one, this one. Oh god, oh god, please stop. How much mail do you people have? Jeez. Uh, that one? <laughs> Why does everyone at this company suck? <laughs> I feel like it's just kind of, it's a very much working in an actual office situation. No worries, Pepper. Oh, this package is addressed to Truman Zanotto. Hey, this might be important. I'd better bring it to Truman. Technically, this is official Psychonauts business. Yeah, heck yeah, dude. Oh, can I, uh... There we go. Just burn all that. Let's see, that sounds expensive to order. There we go. Okay, I can't get back out that way. Put all the skill points into the fire first. It's really good. Alright. Let's go. Ouch. This is some damage. Very suspiciously sized box. Come on, Rasputin, precious cargo. Precious cargo is I hit it on everything. You guys gotta check this out. The new kid killed Nick. He's alive, but he's brainless. <gasps> what kind of sick monster would steal Nick's brain? I mean, Nick! Maybe he saw something he shouldn't have. But why keep his body alive? And why mail it to the Grand Head of the Psychonauts? It could be a warning. Hey guys, does the Lady Lucktopus Casino mean anything to you? Isn't that where we sent Agent 33? To investigate suspected delusionist activity? Agent 33 is two days late with her status update. I'll get the jet. I'll pack the go case. I'll stay here and protect the children. What? Aren't we all going on the mission? We could use you in tactical command, Agent Forsyth. And maybe the interns would benefit from... It's not safe. Not while we have a double agent among us. I'll take her place. I've heard the buffet there is shockingly reasonable. Well, if you reconsider, meet us on the jet pad within the hour. Can't we just... No, all of you, to the interns' bay. Now, I've got some training exercises planned today that are both informative and safe. Last one there has to delouse the brain tumbler. We're just gonna leave Nick's body? <laughs> pat, pat, there, there. TV. TV. Oh. Yeah. All right. Bye, Nick. Love you. I'll bet those guys took Nick's body back to the mail room. I should go check and see if he's okay. Oh, <gasps> Harold! He is my mentor. Harold, tell me the truth. Are you the mole? <laughs> Harold looking real sus. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Really don't like her. Agent Forsyth is yep. a very interesting character. Why not Harold? Not Harold, you. Oh, alright. Never mind. There you go. Nick, you doing alright, buddy? Where'd they take him? Oh, Nick. Deary me. You alright? Fix? Fix? No. Fix? I think he's a little, little stuck right now. But not flammable, so. I'm sorry for this game. How's it going so far? It's going real well. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day, Wisp. I can't remember. Can I get him out of this or no? Oh, wait. Do I have to... Uh -huh. Got him. You doing good, buddy? So in the first game, when the kids Man. lost their brains, uh, all they wanted to do was sit in front of the TV. So they just repeat TV. He's saying a bit more, though. Y'all good? Can I look in your mind sure. right now? 
Oh, look at me being a little mailman. Lucy. <laughs> Insufficient postage. Oh. Well, Nick, have fun down here. We'll come see you later. I'm sure you'll be fine. Definitely won't be getting your head slammed in anything. Alright, the tiny jacket did it. Last one out hit the lights. <laughs> Not the poster. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's head up to the classroom. Oh no, I want to hear the dialogue. Excuse me, agents. But coach, I mean, Agent Oleander isn't the local. Or maybe he is, and you're in on it with him. Agent Whitlatch. He's just a child. Exactly the kind of asset a counter spy would use, maybe. Without his knowledge, even. Well, I think that's my cue to leave. Wow, I've been here for like five minutes. I'm already being accused. Is he gonna give a lady a bone? Oh, <gasps> just okay. Think about Nick, you know? Oh, that's right. He mailed that letter for you that one time, didn't he? Okay. So that guy is the one who just sees bacon. This girl, if I look into her brain, she really likes him, right? If I look into his brain, I don't think he even sees her. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm going to check on him every time we see him. Turn them into side challenge markers with a set of these new pins, the very latest. Oh, I don't have a marker. Whoopsie daisy. Brand thing's a very cool mechanic. Definitely, yeah. Let's I think it relatable. With your card so you can rank up. It's a harbor out here. Ships everywhere. <laughs> Always only have one thing on their mind. Uh, do, do, do. I might buy some or a cyclops. And good for your mental Ayanara, psychic. Discover the other levitation ball colors in your first playthrough. Uh, I remember there was the ritual three. Are there more than that? Oh, good. You're finally here. Let me know when you're prepared to learn something. Imagine going into a class and then just kind of vibing on one of these. <clears throat> uh, all right. If I may speak, you may not. Ooh. Class is in session. Can I ask? Please hold all questions till the end of the lesson. Oh, teachers like that. Agent Foresight. That mission is being handled by experienced psychonauts. Do not bring it up again. When does class start? As soon as you get to my classroom. This isn't your classroom? No. This is. So are you ready, kid? Give me a second. Give me a second. I did prepare something for this. I forgot about it earlier. But it doesn't really make much that much of a difference because you can't really see it too well. But I've created a different background for each and every single one of the levels. <laughs> you can't really see it, but I feel like it kind of adds to the atmosphere of it. I just have to remember to change it each time. Yeah. And what are you ready for? Safety. Oh, you think the human mind is safe? That's cute. It's kind of like what we did for Odyssey, I think, and you helped me out with the pictures for that, I think, of the different levels or areas. <laughs> Ooh, Rainbow Camp, thank you. Cilantro, gross. Ugh. No one here likes cilantro. And that is how you perform the advanced psychic ability known as Mental Connection. Cool! Soap? No. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, could you repeat that? Oh, sorry, kid. Nope. I warned you not to be late. I'm off to attend to some fiduciary concerns. Norma, take over for me, won't you? You can practice with some of those loose ideas. But Agent Foresight, is it safe to leave all these thoughts out like this if you're not here? Norma, please. 
It takes more than a few rambunctious children to affect the mind of a trained psychonaut. We got a new power. We got Try to do the to pose. Sleep in my class. All right, Repscallion. Okay. Now, how do I explain mental connection extremely simply? Let me guess. We focus on an idea in someone's mind until we form a tangible connection with it. Oh, I didn't realize you were a mental connection expert. By all means, give us a demo. I, Professor, want to hit this girl so much. Shoulder pads went out of fashion decades ago. <laughs> All right. Um. So, mental connection. Come on, Raz. Show us how you make a mental connection with that thought over there. Just give me a second. I'm collecting figments, girl. Let's see what you got, little guy. I hope Random feels better soon, Pepper. Let's go. I'm just a little bit bored. Here's the steamer trunk tag. There we go. If you can't do it, you can just say so. <gasps> How dare you? I can do it. <gasps> what the heck did you just do? I said connect with the idea, not jump inside it like a hamster ball. Sorry. Old habit from the circus, I guess. When it's not an idea, you can connect to other ideas. Not only is cilantro delicious, it's affordable and easy to grow in a window box herb garden. It's gross. What the heck is that? What? You left a slime trail. It's like he connected the two thoughts together. Oh, now you're in trouble. Hey, what's the big idea? Looks like disgust. It's a bit more like it. Well, I'm sure it's not the first time Rasputin has created that thought in someone's mind. Wow. Rude. No, but uh, to be fair, if you guys like cilantro, you're welcome to all of mine, because I, I can't stand it. <laughs> Is I had it for the first time, I think, that? in a mango salad, and I was convinced I just suddenly didn't like mangoes. It wasn't the mangoes that tasted bad. I know cilantro reduces the risk of digestive distress, but it tastes like soap. And honestly, I'd rather have the gas. Hey, Raz. If you can change Forsyth's opinion of cilantro, maybe you could change her mind about the casino mission. Hmm. I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean, she worries about us kids too much. It's taking years off of her life expectancy. Hmm. If you could get her not to be so worried all the time, we could all go on a real Psychonauts mission! Well, I don't suppose it would hurt to take a look around up there. Just see if there's any, you know, problems. So... Uh, again, we are in Let's someone's mind. Of course, if you're scared, don't do it. And these I mean, brats are like, you could just out of the psychonauts for trying, but what the heck? Subconsciously make Honestly, her change her mind on brain, something. Raz. Remember, doesn't seem so good, does it? For the good of the mission. Oh, I like those. Here we got nuggets of wisdom. That's another collectible. If you're scared, don't do it. I mean, you'll probably get kicked out of the Psychonauts for trying, but what the heck? Um, I think I usually use. Connect that thought shot, man! China? Greater good! Oh, wait. This was a terrible idea. This is a really bad idea, kid. These poor kids don't know what they're in for. I'll just have to get Sasha to give up half of his laboratory budget. It was hard enough getting him to give up wearing socks with sandals, but 
But you did it, Forsyth. Remember that. I don't want her to know I'm here. <laughs> yeah, to this was a bad idea. In the I'm going back. We're gonna go back. Our Lady of Restraint Neurological Hospital. I think Hollis said she was an intern here once. I always had my best ideas here. Let's just hope I don't run into Dr. Putz. Maybe trying to change her mind is a bad idea. Bad ideas. <laughs> no, wait. I think that is a bad idea. Okay. So they're kind of like puppers. And we got to throw their light bulbs back at them. But they're like exploding light bulbs. It's like even worse. There we go. Yes. No room in here for any bad ideas but my own. Speaking of, I gotta catch up to Hollis and try to change her mind about the mission. Um... Evil bunny? I feel like... I know the first game had some bunnies, but sound? I don't know if this one does. Oh, hey! You doing all right? This hat box needs a hat box tag. Okay. We'll get that for you. All right, no worries, Pepper. I don't know why it's his timer's not working. It should be. Like Raz in this outfit. It suits him. I, uh. I actually prefer this one as well. I have to admit. It was cute. Yeah, I've got enough credit to upgrade one of my side powers. <laughs> yep. Uh, can I get up here? Yes, I can. Nice. Alright. I think I hear some. Is there more crying? Oh, Mood. How are you doing? There we go. Yeah, I think it was the hat box that you were thinking was uh, Nike. But once again, if anyone's joining us, we're playing Psychonauts 2. This is a sequel to the first one. It is fantastic. Um, and we're currently inside someone's mind. So the visuals and the areas we're in are kind of constructed out of that person's uh, memories or out of their, um, out their psyche. <laughs> and we can come in here and potentially change things around. Whether or not that's a good idea, we'll have to see. Yeah, the, the, the yellow oh one, right? Oh my god, look at the size of that kid's head! Get him to radiology, stat! Hey! Wow. Rude. Oh, yep. All right. Um, but while we're in people's minds, you saved another life, Doctor Potts. Oh, please! I was just doing my <sighs> job. Um. I heard the technique you used was developed by your intern, Hollis Forsyth. Oh, uh, my intern? Why, yes, yes. Well, we did collaborate on that a little. <sighs> um, you can kind of learn more about them. And it, it's pretty interesting how the game works. That kid's head is the huge. Make a full recovery, Doctor Potts. All thanks to you. Mm -hmm. And your brilliant intern, Hollis Forsyth. Why, uh, yes. Well, she has been a helpful assistant. I like the look of these. This brain has made amazing progress. Another life saved by the Forsyth method. The, the POTS method? POTS? It was my intention. That intern merely transcribed my dictation. Oh. Oh, uh, my apologies, Dr. POTS. In fact, I was thinking of getting rid of her. So you can kind of see where this is going. <gasps> half a brain. Hey, I got half a mind. Half, half a mind. Huh. I've got half a mind to look for the other half. Something tells me it's not too far away. I'm gonna get headaches because Raz is bouncing around in your brain. Potentially. Potentially. Good job, Pepper. That's what I like to hear. Yep. What was it Itsy who started that trend of just 
Disgust and death are linked together right now. Ugh. I can't believe some people prefer open casket funerals. Disgusting. And then there's uh, death to victory. Ah, good luck collecting your debts after I'm dead, losers. I mean, let's go get this other half of mine. Another full mine. And that kind of gives us extra health, pretty much. How did I miss this up here? There we go. Me with my student loves me. Oh, hmm. here is a memory bank. Uh, Dr. Potts is the pits. Alright, so here's the hospital that Hollis was an intern or worked at. Uh, and she is doing work. And she comes up with something called the Forsyth Method. She presents it to her superior, Dr. Potts. And that is the sketchiest look I've ever seen. So it's now the Potts Method. And she's like, oh, wow. I Cool. Uh, and then she starts looking into changing minds through mental connection. So again, oh, no good. Maybe if I move some funds around, I could postpone paying those bills, but not these. <sighs> Another grant is off the table for sure. I went to school for medicine. How did I end up stressing about money management all day? Well, I just need to put those thoughts aside and focus on the children. Their safety is the most important thing. And it's not just because a lawsuit would bankrupt us right now. That casino mission would be good experience for them. But it's too risky. What if I let them go and the worst happens? <sighs> Need to focus. Only one unfathomable fear at a time, Forsyth. If Hollis associated risk with something more positive than death, it would open her up to so many more missions. It also is I a mean, horrible idea. Life experiences. When do we hit 12 says We hit 10 before I even switch over to the screen, so that's super appreciated once again, you guys. Socks with sandals. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna go around and collect all the things in here. Mushrooms. She likes mushrooms. Uh, germs. Kind of floating over there by themselves. And then you got money and stress. I just remembered how dire the psychonauts' finances are. Uh, how about if I connected that to? Chris? I definitely could not handle that stressful casino mission right now. How about death to cilantro? Because I mean, I'm just saying. Using cilantro in my cooking. Has science conclusively proven it's not poisonous? <laughs> if Alice wants to solve her money problems, she's gonna need to accept some risk. Alrighty. Oh, hey. I'll take this nice. Uh, I'm missing two here. They made a voice line for each option. They did. It's really, really neat how much detail they went into. Oh, God. Uh, is there another one here that I've missed? I may have missed one earlier. I definitely could not handle that stressful casino mission right now. Oh my. I just remembered how dire the psychonauts' finances are. Hmm. That's not the change I was waiting for. How do I... Oh, I have to go all the way around, don't I? Alright, this way... Can I go this way? Wearing no. socks with sandals is just rich people trying to show off how they can afford fancy socks. That's not what I meant to click on. <laughs> no, Hollis, go back, go back. That's not it. Aw, oh, heck, okay. Apparently rich people have fancy socks. And I didn't know that. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Let's try that again. I think I meant to go around using these. 
Okay, let's not click on mushrooms. I think, I think I just figured out how to solve all our money problems. Nice. Disney socks. <laughs> Oh, mint chocolate, really? I hadn't heard about that. She's all right. <laughs> hey, Teach. What gives? I was in the middle of a sweet hookup there. Guess what, kids? You all did so well on your lesson. How about we give your new power a test drive out in the field? You mean we're going on the mission? For real? Isn't that dangerous? You know what they say, Sam. Nothing ventured, nothing brained. I don't think that's what... Let's roll. Heck yes! Cool. All right. Sweet. Um... Woo! I'm so glad you changed your mind about the mission, Agent Foresight. I was nervous about bringing the children, but if you feel that it's safe, then it must be. It's crucial we find out what these delusionists are up to at the casino. With you handling tactical command, I'd say our probability of mission success has risen 35%. I'll take those odds. Now, how long till we reach the Lady Lactopus? We are almost there. Agent Foresight, how are you feeling? <laughs> Lucky. Well, we're here. Using a false identity, we've secured a high roller suite to use as our base of operations. Now, children, you are not to leave the suite. Like most casinos, the Lady Lactopus has a strict no psychics policy. <laughs> Weak. Be <laughs> happy for this chance to observe Agent Forsyth in action. Position one, I'm moving down the primary ventilation shaft, and Dustpan is approaching the front desk. I'm sorry, Teacup, Shoehorn, and Dustpan. <laughs> teacup, come in. Are you there? Paulus. Hmm? Oh, yes, Shoehorn, this is Teacup. I have you on visual. Teacup, this is Dustpan. I'm approaching position one. After you've disabled the side detectors and inhibitors, on your go-ahead, I'll approach the reception desk and distract the clerks. After they're distracted, I'll drop into the office and find the room number that belongs to this key. Just make sure to disable the main fan, because my position is close. No need to explain, agents. You do your job, and I'll do mine. Let's keep radio silent so I can concentrate. Understood. Roger that, teacup. Dustman out. What would your code name be? Probably Crust. Let's just face facts. Guys, what would your code name be? What do I want? We're going on a Pearl? No, you're too so young. Early, but I'm craving a green needle gulp. Um, oh, wait. We're going I'm on a secret mission. What's your secret code name? Friends with Orville for sure. <laughs> Orville actually has a lot Bye. of code names. Hmm. Bongoose. <laughs> Small veg. <laughs> Calamity fizz, please, sir. I could make that if I were in my home bar, but not here. You have a bar at home? Oh, rich kids. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Hidden All right, then. fever? <laughs> Dragon wing? I haven't had a hot water hand grenade in a long time. I think I want people Can to yell me who at me that when they need me. You. But does your secret mission go through the mountain? Secret tunnel. <laughs> Didn't think so. Okay. All right. So. I'm gonna go on my break here, you guys. We've been live for uh, our usual two and a half hours. This seems like a really good place to pause. Sorry. Um, if you're headed out, thank you so very much for being here this morning. But if you are sticking around, 10 minutes, I'll play some stream moments. Uh, there might be some videos in there that may get a little bit emotional, but I'm not gonna be watching them. Uh, just fair warning if you guys are gonna be watching, because I didn't have time to any from our reel, so. Fair warning. 
uh, 10 minutes. I'm gonna go grab myself. I have these like fiber one well, cinnamon bun bars and they're my those. new favorite thing. So I'm gonna go nom on one of those. And Maybe a I'll be right back. Regret. Thank you guys so very much for being here. I do appreciate <laughs> that it. That was my mom's favorite.